Hello everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. In this video, what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at some Christmas rice. This is Zero Linux, the new XFCE version. No, it's not gonna be the Christmas theme all the time starting January 2nd. They're gonna go ahead and switch to something else, but for now, they went with a very festive look. And I do have to say just the overall uh, vibe of this is absolutely wonderful. You can see the icon themes, all the icons are Christmas, all the icons have snow on them. We got the X snow running in the background. DistroTube recently did a video on X snow and they have this installed by default. Overall, it's a super cool thing. Uh, if I go ahead, let's go ahead and minimize some of this. Open up Firefox here. This is the Zero Linux website. Of course, we have the Zero Linux main edition that we took a look at a couple months ago. A lot of you guys really like that. And of course, that is still available to download right here. Or we have the XFCE version. So let's go ahead and read these release notes real quick. So this version of XFCE retains a lot of the main features, but with a bit less options compared to their flagship, they have a new version of Calamaris. The AUR helper is gonna be Peru instead of Yay. But of course, being that this is Arch, it's Linux, you could go ahead and put whatever you would like on it. And then right here, this is some information on the rice. They are using Polybar up there for the top, Plank down here for the bottom, and of course, the desktop is XFCE. If I go ahead and hit the Windows key, this is our application menu here. We see we have a nice little Christmas tree. Overall, the color scheming and everything really blends. It's not like it's overdone, but in a good way. So it's just beautiful overall. I did have this installed in VirtualBox for a little bit and it's a little hit or miss. It says down here, they're using the PyCom compositor. So they would not recommend you use VirtualBox. It just won't perform that well. So this is currently installed on my main computer physical hardware. So it's running really, really good. And then right here, you can see the snow going on. If I go ahead and move these windows around, it follows and the snow slowly builds up on all these windows and on the bottom over here. It's pretty cool. And of course you could disable this. Now this doesn't take up too much system resources. I think it takes up like 40 or so megabytes of RAM and almost none of the CPU. And if you want to disable it, you just run kill all X snow in the terminal, or you could go ahead and configure it. And we have the uh, auto start here. So you could go and configure it there. You just do sudo nano or not even sudo that's in your home directory. So nano, and then point here and you could go ahead and enable or disable the snow if you would like to. Now let's go ahead and minimize this. Up here in the top, we have our current open windows. Right now, the only thing I have open is this uh, zero Linux configuration tool. So we have the NVIDIA card checker, shell configuration, VMware resolution fix, just some quick access to some things that you might be interested in doing, such as installing better Discord. I'm going to close that out for now. And now we have our desktop. If I go ahead and open up a couple things, we have our workspace switcher right here. So this is just our desktop now. And then I could go back over here and you can see even these folders have a little bit of snow on them. So that's pretty cool. Now, being that this is XFCE, it's going to ship with a lot of the XFCE applications. The installation process for this XFCE version is incredibly similar to the regular flagship Plasma version. You go through, you select some of the core packages, you select all your additions, so there's a bunch of categories, internet, media, whatever, and you could have it go ahead and install a lot of the applications you'd be interested in while you're doing the normal installation process. Saves a lot of time. I love it when uh, operating systems or Linux distributions like that give you those type of configuration options. It's just super cool. And here, while we have NeoFetch running, you kind of see some of the versions. It's on the 5.15 kernel. It says here we're using over two gigabytes of RAM, but do note this is on physical hardware and I'm running OBS Studio and all that. I'll go ahead and bring in a little NeoFetch window of what it looks like on boot. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I didn't check. We have XFCE 4.16, and then you can see some of the theming right here. Now up here, the polybar is configured pretty cool. We have our time and date right here. Over here with some system usage, so I'm using 6% of my CPU, almost three gigs of RAM. Right here, we can switch between muted and unmuted. If I click on this, it looks like they have, is this a, yeah, this is PAMAC. So PAMAC is included, so that's always nice. Little graphical uh, package management solution right here. So if I type PAMAC, okay, so PAMAC and PARU are included. So you can use whatever is your preference and get rid of things as you do prefer. If I go ahead and close out a window so you can kind of see the snow on top there. If I close that out, you can see it whew, and all the snow will fall. It's just cool. Now, because of how this works, it's really easy to go ahead and check out what's uh, installed by default. 
through the actual installation process where you could go ahead and add all those extra packages. I didn't install anything except for the things I needed for my AMD processor and GPU. So this is everything that's included. Of course, we have some typical XFCE stuff. Uh, most of everything, we have catfish file search there. Most of everything's just gonna be XFC stuff. It's a moderately, moderately lightweight. We have a G parted here. Genie calculator, Firefox is the default web browser. And then we have notifications panel, our plank settings right there. A bunch of QT stuff, screen shave, <laughs> shaver, screen saver, our settings manager terminal emulator and some more XFCE and window manager stuff. And right here is XSnow. So if I hit enter there, this is our actual XSnow configuration. So I'm pretty sure most of everything is disabled, at least except for the snow, because you can see there's really a lot of different things you could go ahead and add to this. Like if you go overboard with XSnow, it will look like a, uh, a virus ridden install of like Windows XP. <laughs> but obviously all this is at your, uh, own discretion crank up the intensity of our snow if we want to so i just enabled all defaults there and you can see all the crap all over the place we have stars we have birds and bats flying around santa should be somewhere there's santa there we go so if you just click all defaults it will go ahead and enable everything but i do have to say it was probably a really good decision just to include the snow from default. And the cool thing is uh, you don't have to get this edition of Zero Linux. You can go ahead and install XSnow on whatever you're running. Just an extra little cool thing and it's cool that this is included. I'm assuming after the uh, January update this is probably going to get removed but I'm not 100% uh, sure on that. I'm like 99% sure. So yeah this is a fabulous Linux distribution and I'm really looking forward to the Next update when it's not the Christmas theme so we can kind of see what direction of an XFCE desktop this is going to be. Um, the main flagship edition is awesome. I have a video on that. It's a little out of date and I will be updating that video when everything updates in January. So do be looking forward to that. Make sure you subscribe and you ring that bell so you do not miss that video. If you want to try this out, uh, go ahead and check it out down below. You can read all the release notes, try out the flagship version, or this XFCE version if you would like to. So with that, I would love to thank our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. Um, yeah, have a happy holidays, a Merry Christmas, and the next video I upload is gonna be a gaming video, so that might be something interesting. Linux gaming, Linux native gaming. So subscribe, ring that bell, bye.